I do talk about a lot of different addictions, including pornography addiction. And I can tell you that a lot of people come to me and they're, they're sort of skeptical. Is sex addiction real? Is video game addiction real? I can tell you in the last 20 years of practice, I'm seeing growing numbers of people addicted to these digital drugs. And it is very real. What do I do for pornography? I say no watching pornography, but also no orgasms with yourself or anybody else for a month, right? As a way to, again, reset reward pathways. And resetting reward pathways is key to be able to have the cognitive and emotional strength to do what's next, which is decide next steps. Am I gonna go back to using this drug? or am I gonna to continue to abstain? And either way, how am I gonna do that? And then we talk about self-binding strategies. And what do I mean by that? Self-binding strategies are barriers, both literal and metacognitive, that we can put in place to put the brakes on desire. And they are absolutely fundamental in a, in a world in which we're being constantly tempted to indulge. Self-binding means things like not keeping your drug in your house or not keeping your drug in your room or making sure if you're gonna use in moderation, you only use on special occasions and then don't populate your calendar with a special occasion every night. The natural history of their addiction is exactly the same as addiction to drugs and alcohol. They increase their use over time. They need more of the drug, more potent forms of the drug. It starts to affect their mood, their motivation. They become suicidal, despondent, incredible shame. And then when they take, you know, get away from that drug and abstain for long enough to get their prefrontal cortex back online and to reassert homeostasis, they feel so much better. So what can we do about it? I hold up people in recovery from severe addictions as modern day prophets for the rest of us to how to navigate this dopamine saturated world. And this is an acronym that I'll just very briefly go over, but the pivot point of this acronym is the A that stands for abstinence. What I have come to do in my psychiatric practice, whether the individual is coming in with addiction or whether they're coming in with anxiety and depression, the first thing that I will do is screen them for compulsive overconsumption of highly reinforcing drugs and behaviors and suggest to them an experiment. And the experiment goes like this. Try giving up this drug of choice for a month. Why? Because in doing so, you will allow enough time for the neuroadaptation gremlins on the pain side of your balance to hop off and for homeostasis to be restored. And only then will you be able to get joy in more modest rewards. And only then will you be able to see true cause and effect, which is that compulsive overconsumption of these drugs is actually causing your depression and anxiety. Many of my patients on first pass are highly skeptical of this hypothesis. They say, Dr. Lemke, my video games are the only thing that alleviate my depression. Dr. Lemke, smoking pot is the only thing that works for my anxiety. And what I say is, I hear you that in the moment, it feels like you are self-medicating your psychiatric problem, but I would posit to you that what you're really doing is just temporarily restoring a level balance while you're accumulating more gremlins on the pain side of the balance. This first pass intervention can be not only instructive, but highly healing. So how do we get them there? First, we, the first pass is just to gather data. This is where we ask patients to tell us, what are you using, how much, and how often? And the simple act of putting into words what we are doing in terms of our consumption can have a revelatory impact on our understanding of what we're doing. Because as long as it stays in the dark recesses of our minds, we can minimize it and we don't have to look at it. But when we tell another human being, it becomes real in a way that it otherwise cannot. Then I recommend this four weeks of abstinence, or if you can't do four weeks, do two weeks. If you can't do two weeks, do a single day, especially when it comes to digital drugs, put that phone away for 24 hours. But in general, the data, however limited, shows that it takes on average four weeks of abstinence in order to reset brain reward pathways and be able to experience pleasure in more modest rewards. If patients don't do the four weeks once they're already addicted, all they're experiencing is withdrawal, right? Remember the balance, you take away 
the pleasure weight, those gremlins weighed it down to the side of pain. And in those first two weeks, patients are in withdrawal. So I warn them, you're going to feel worse before you feel better. You're going to experience the universal symptoms of withdrawal, anxiety, irritability, insomnia, dysphoria. If you can just get your way through that, you will eventually feel better in weeks three and four. And for about 80% of my patients, which is consistent with the scientific literature, they do feel better at four weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go through our journey of self-development and self-discovery, we can learn some very fascinating things about our habits and the activities that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. As Dr. Anna Lemke explains, a lot of the things and the activities and the habits that we do can seem like crutches for us, as if they're getting us through our anxiety, through our anxious moments, through depression. But when in reality, these are the things that are at the stem and are at the base of our anxiety and our depression. Like she mentioned, activities like smoking cannabis or playing video games or pornography all of these things can seem like a harmless activity that just helps us and gives us a temporary boost of motivation where in reality this is the thing that causes us the most harm the thing that we are trying to get away from and the thing that we are trying to get rid of from our lives for example, the anxiety into the depression. So when we understand these things, we can really take a look at our life and understand what are the activities, what are the things that we're doing that don't help us on our journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. Pornography being an absolutely huge one, especially for males and with our access to the internet 24 seven, having our digital devices on us 24 seven and having fast high speed internet, unrestricted access to the internet can actually cause us some of the biggest harm that we are experiencing today. And the most important thing that we can do is just simply try, try our absolute best to go in the opposite direction of these addictions and habits that we've created for ourselves. So when Dr. Anna Lemke mentions having a different set of environments and protocols to mitigate our addictive behaviors, what she means is that changing up our environment, so charging our phone outside of our room or not using our phone before bedtime, now, this would be a great time to mention that we have actually created a 18 page NoFap guide that helps people to actually put in place the measures where they can get rid of their addictions. And we have so many effective techniques that we've put into it that our team has personally used and that have helped them in every aspect of their life and it doesn't take more than 30 minutes to set up everything and it becomes so much easier to be on that nofap journey and at the end of the day that's what all of us want is we want a clean life one that we have control over our triggers and our impulses and our own desires and our bodies and having a really easy to follow guide where everything is explained is so helpful in our journeys. And so if anybody is interested, we will leave the link down below in the description, in the comment section, and by clicking the top icon in the right hand corner of the video. So thank you guys for watching and we wish you the best of luck. Take care on your journeys and we'll see you soon. Ready to conquer NoFap? Grab our digital NoFap guide now. End your porn addiction. Skyrocket your self-esteem and achieve your goals. Packed with proven techniques, expert advice, and relapse prevention tricks. Click the link below and break free today. <laughs>